Hey, what's up guys? This is my 11th episode of the best Android apps for 2014, which I'll be demonstrating on the Galaxy Note 4. So in this episode, I'll be showing you all the apps which I find myself using the most on the Note 4. So without any further ado, let's begin. The first one here is the Commander. Since the Note 4 comes with latest version of Android, that is KitKat, it supports voice recognition. That is, you can just say OK Google whenever the screen is on and then say your command. Thus, installing this app will enhance the OK Google functionality on your phone to perform additional tasks like turning on the flashlight, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, music controls and even read text messages as you can see here. Back to the app, we have options to enable interception, return to previous app after you say your command, turn on and off built-in commands, and you also can vote for new commands, which I feel is a really good feature. Show or hide ads and make a donation to the developer. So guys, a great application to enhance the OK Google functionality on your phone. Next is the Mobdro. You don't get this app in the Play Store. I'll leave the link for the APK file in the description. So with this app you can watch live TV for free. On top you have tiles where you have all the channels. Swiping from the left will allow you to choose from different categories like movies, shows, news, animals, sports, etc. Swiping further will take you to the news category where you have a list of new channels as you can see here. Then we have various TV shows, movies, sports, music channels and so on. Ok, now say for example I want to watch Sky Sports 1. I can tap on it and it will start live streaming. Now let's go ahead and watch some music channel. Say for example MTV and there you go. So while watching you can control the size of the video player from here. So guys similarly you can watch anything that you are interested in. So going on to settings from downloads you can allow mobile data for live streaming. You also can select download limit in case you are using this app from your mobile data. From updates you can enable auto updates for this application. You can search for contents. From player you can enable high quality streaming, enable decoder etc. From content you can define your language and sort your channel alphabetically. So an awesome application to watch TV from your phone. The next one here is the MyScript Stylus. This app offers amazing input methods from the S Pen. First you can set up this application. You need to choose your language. Set my script stylus as your default input method. Then you can use your stylus for typing, taking notes, etc. So as you can see the handwriting recognition is simply amazing with this app. It recognizes almost everything I type. Since you don't have the autocorrect functionality, you can take full advantage of this app in any language. Typing is very much easier since you have automatic spacing, gestures to erase, edit, enter a space, go to the next line, etc. From here you can go to the app settings where you can check the tutorial on how to use this app, manage your languages. text size, ink thickness, scroll speed, etc. Next you have is the language chooser. Long pressing the space bar will allow you to switch to other input methods if you want to. So an awesome application to enhance the overall S Pen functionality. Next is the keep safe. With a great camera on the Note 4, you will definitely be shooting many pictures and videos. 
but someone getting an access to the photos can be disturbing. So with this app, you can keep your private photos in a private album. Yes, we do get the private mode with the Galaxy Note 4. But the reason I prefer this app over the private mode is because of its added functionality, which I'll be showing you now. When you start this app for the first time, you are asked to give in your master passcode and email address in case you have to reset your passcode. After setting it up, you have a simple layout where you can simply choose to create albums. You have options for your album like rename your album, lock, delete or set a cover pic for your album. Then you can add pictures to your album from different folders. You can either take a picture from the app itself and hide it instantly. So this feature is very handy as you can quickly take a picture and directly save it to this app. To gain access to the hidden photos, I will have to open the application and enter the passcode. You can share the photo, move it to other albums, unhide the photo or delete it. You also get this slider to jump to albums and go to settings. From settings you can change the default email, pin and pin timeout. Upgrade to add storage to your cloud. All the hidden photos are synced to its own private cloud storage. You can also see the items that have synced and space left in your cloud storage. With the free version, you can sync up to 200 items. You have connection options, other useful features like fake pin, where you type fake pin to show a fake album. Break-in alerts. Face down lock, which will automatically lock the app and clears it from the background when your device is face down. So in an emergency, this feature is very handy. And you also can select actions like you can set it to open a website or an app. Secret door will disguise the app like it's an antivirus app for other people. Now to gain access, you will have to tap and hold the keep safe logo and enter the passcode. So a very useful application with lots of useful features. The next one here is the true backup. Losing data is worse. You lose your important texts, pictures and many other items and sometimes they are impossible to recover. So you will need a good backup and restore application to keep all your data safe. And true backup is one of the best application for backing up and restoring your data. As you can see we have four different tabs here. Backup is where you can choose the items to backup like SMS, pictures, contacts, videos, etc. You also can select your backup location, whether it's your SD card or your cloud storage. Restore is where you choose the device you want to restore from and choose the contents to restore. From schedule, you can schedule your backup so that it will automatically back up your data from time to time. And My Devices is where you can see all the devices that were backed up using your account and this application. On settings, you can change connection settings, notification settings and switch backup media. So overall a very handy application to keep your data safe. The next one here is the all-in-one toolbox. With great hardware and software on your device, you will be needing a good app to optimize it. Because as you use different apps, your device will store the junk files, temporary files, cache, etc. Which will eventually slow down your device. So all-in-one toolbox is a great app with all the necessary tools to optimize your device. Here we have a quick view of uses of our ROM, RAM and SD card. You can tap on clean to scan for junk files. Once done, you can hit clean. And then here you have two different tabs for standard scan or advanced scan. Advanced scan will clear junk files from all apps including system apps from your device. Going back, you have memory boost option. 
and here you can see the list of apps consuming memory. You can just hit kill and it clears the unnecessary memory consumed. Lastly we have the toolbox. Here we have options to install and uninstall batch, backup and restore your apps where you can backup the apk files of your applications, uninstall system apps which requires root, move apps to sd card where you can move app data to sd card to save your internal storage. Boot speed up is where you can enable or disable apps on the system startup. With the help of this tool, you can disable unnecessary applications on the startup to enhance the overall performance of your device. Manage startup items and file manager. You also can add more plugins to this app like app lock, flashlight, barcode scanner, etc. You do get widgets to quickly clear junk files, boost memory, install and uninstall apps etc. So a very handy application. The next one is Autodesk Sketchbook. With a great stylus on the Note 4, you can perform various tasks but to create great sketches and drawings, this app is one of the best. As you can see, we have a blank screen like a plain white sheet. I can sketch my ideas with some great sketching tools offered by this app. At the top we have options to add a new sketch, save the sketch to gallery, share your sketches. DeviantArt is where you can see the sketches from other people using this app. You can go to its own store to purchase different tools. Go to preferences, so from here you can give in your own accents like tap hold for color picker, let's enable this. Now uh, tap and hold on your sketch then you'll see this tool. You can use this to choose any color from your sketch and now you can use that color. So a very handy feature to have. Going back to preferences, you can enable rotate canvas, pinch to gallery, corner shortcuts which you can customize. So let me just quickly do that. Okay, now going back, we have the pen mode where you can utilize the S Pen since the new S Pen is more pressure sensitive. So over here, we have some additional tools like entering the full screen mode. Choose from different tools to draw like pencils, brushes, canvas, etc. And lastly we have the color picker. So a good application to create sketches and drawings from your phone. The next one here is the Google Keep. This is the official app from Google that lets you quickly save a note, list, voice note, picture notes and even reminders. One of the best feature of this app is that all the notes are synced to your Google ID so that the notes saved on one device is automatically shared to all the devices and computers having your Google ID. So here we have all the notes saved on my Google Drive. To add a quick note, tap here. For quick notes, once you tap enter, it's saved. While adding notes, you have option to choose the note color, attach a picture and show check boxes for your to-do list. You also can set a reminder for your note. And yes, the reminder will also be synced with your notes across all your devices. Tap here to add lists, voice note and picture note. Sliding from the left will give you an access to your reminders, archive notes and deleted notes. You also get widgets to quickly add and view your notes. So a must have application for Android users. I personally keep this app above any other note taking app and a reminder app. The next one here is the Afterlight. This is a photo editing application. Previously I have reviewed Pixelr Express which is also one of the best photo editing app. If you want to check out that video, I will leave the link in the description. So Afterlight is similar to the Pixelr Express but with some changes here and there. 
You can directly choose a picture and edit them right away from here or you can choose any picture from the gallery. So over here you get a bunch of tools to edit your picture like brightness, contrast, uh, clarity level, saturation, exposure and then some advanced tools like highlights, shadows, highlight tone, shadow tone, mid tone, temperature etc. So a lot of controls here to edit your pictures in a much more professional way. Then we have got filters. You have three different categories. So over here you get a range of different filters for your pictures. Then you have overlays, cropping options, frames. Type is where you can convert the whole image to an alphabet, number or a symbol. As you can see here. And lastly we have the film pack for which you need to pay. So a great photo editing application if you are looking for something different. The last one for today's episode is the 500 fire paper. With a beautiful quad HD display on the Note 4, you will be needing some great wallpapers for your device. With this app, you get unlimited wallpapers and you don't have to worry about changing your wallpaper manually. So the wallpaper you are seeing right now is from the app itself. Let's open the app. You have option to update over the Wi-Fi and choose categories like popular, editor's choice, upcoming, etc. So these are the categories for your wallpaper. Since this app automatically pulls wallpapers from the internet, you need to give in your categories like preferred categories like abstract, landscapes, nature, underwater, etc. You can change update intervals and here you also can set the update interval to every screen off. That is the wallpaper changes every time you unlock your device. And home display that is every time you press the home key, the wallpaper changes. Grayscale mode is where all your wallpapers are in black and white. You can adjust the blurness, brightness and saturation levels of your wallpaper. You also have got parallax effects, daydream controls and some extra options for history, cache etc. So as you can see I have a beautiful wallpaper here. You can change the wallpaper simply by tapping with three fingers on the screen. So that's all for this episode guys. I will be coming up with the next episode very soon. Stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you found it useful, stay tuned for more and you guys have a great time.